Good afternoon. A one and a half billion dollar lawsuit has been filed in Toronto following the downing of flight 752. The suit alleges the plane was brought down in a deliberate and intentional act of terrorism. The Ukrainian airliner was shot out of the sky by Iranian missiles on January 8th. All 176 people on board were killed, including 57 Canadian citizens. The lawsuit names Iran, its supreme leader, and the elite Revolutionary Guards, among others. It's not clear if the suit has been served on the defendants. Lawyers are seeking class action status on behalf of the victims' families. Canada has moved one step closer to approving a new North American trade deal. The bill to implement USMCA has passed second reading in the House of Commons. Yeas pour 275-275, nays contre 28, 28. I declare the motion carried. Liberals, Conservatives and the NDP voted in favour of the bill, while the Bloc Quebecois led in the charge against it. Bill C-4 now goes to the Standing Committee on International Trade. In Australia, heavy rain is calming the wildfires, but it's also causing flash floods. And this is worse than Cyclone Debbie here, what's happened overnight. Six people have been rescued from floodwaters. Meantime, this has been a huge relief for the ongoing wildfire fight. There are still 42 fires burning in New South Wales, and authorities hope the rain will contain some of those fires still burning out of control. Since the wildfires began last year, they've killed at least 33 people, destroying more than 3,000 homes. An Antarctic research base has recorded the hottest temperature ever recorded for the continent. It set a new record temperature yesterday, 18.3 degrees Celsius, which is, you know, not a figure that you would normally associate with uh, Antarctica, even in summertime. The record-breaking temperature was recorded at an Argentinian base located on the northern tip of the Antarctic Peninsula. It comes amid rising concerns about global warming, increasing the melting of ice sheets around the South Pole. Experts say the amount of ice lost each year from the Antarctic ice sheets has increased at least sixfold from 1979 to 2017. All right, this is exactly how you'd react if you met one of your heroes. This young Atlanta Hawks fan could barely contain his excitement as members of his favorite team gave him high fives on their way to the court earlier this week. And the last one that gave him a high five, the one and only Vince Carter. That's going to do it for today. I'm Jessica Smith. Thank you for watching.